Welcome back to another Ratface 44 Reviews. My name is James, and today we have the Desert Warfare Republican Guard and Desert Gear Pack from Valiverse. So let's get this started. So before we get this started, big shout out to E-Collectibles, best place to get Action Force figures in Canada. Alright guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. Let's start off with the figure. As you can see, there's a really nice piece of artwork here. Um, I really like this. This looks pretty awesome. There's kind of like flames in the background, kind of like a water, uh, water uh, paint. And as you can see, she's holding one of these uh, machine guns. You got the Desert Warfare Republican Guard. Valiverse logo includes one figure action force logo and we have the same type of artwork here in black and white very nice and on the back of the package you have the file card Republican Guard and this is an army builder one action point a QR code that actually goes somewhere <laughs> boring stuff on the bottom action force logo on this side of the packaging and let's go ahead and take a look at the gear pack artwork very awesome, all loaded up, running, looks really awesome. Desert gear pack, Valiverse logo, Action Force logo. Same artwork on the side, done in black and white. And on the back of the packaging, all the accessories in this gear pack. We have a new rifle. I don't believe I've seen this in the line just yet for myself. And we'll take a look at that later on in this video. Action Force logo. So let's go ahead and unbox these action figure and gear pack so I got my trusty scalpel here let's go ahead and open up the gear pack since I haven't seen this yet uh, the same iteration was I guess it was uh, done with Gemini she has the same kind of um, web gear vest so there's all the accessories out of the packaging and let's get them out of the package All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories. So first off, we have three magazines done in this kind of OD green. Nice sculpted detail here. And next we uh, have a knife. We've seen this before in my Gemini review. And we have some effects. Uh, this looks awesome, a nice smoke effect. Next we have this nice blast effect, a little small one for the uh, handguns. And next we have a bigger blast effect for the rifle and next we have some comms for the helmet and it's done in green and black and next we have some night vision goggles here and next we have this uh, kind of bandana handkerchief done in green and we've seen this before with Pandora and we have a helmet done in desert colors and a green highlight on the side this looks awesome and of course we have a port for the night vision goggles and next we have a, a floating belt with a sheath for the knife and next we have the uh, tactical vest here has some cool pouches just like Gemini and uh, it's done in green and desert color very cool detail and sculpting on this vest and next we have a sidearm uh, done in uh, sandy desert color and a black uh, paint on the top and a port for blast effects and next we have a holster a thigh holster um, as you can see there's molded in um, magazines here the holster is done in OD green and desert colors and lastly we have the machine gun here this is new to me in the line, like I was saying at the beginning of this video, done in black and green. Nice silver highlight here for the ammo. Very awesome. Let me know in the comment section down below what type of weapon this is. It looks really cool. All right, guys, let's open up the figure. All these figures come with a... a figure stand which is really awesome take a look at that all in sandy color we got an extra head 
And we have all the hands you could ever want. Cup hands, holding hands, and fisted hands. Default trigger fingers on the figure, like usual. So I would highly recommend heating this figure up before moving it around. Um, I've reviewed Series 3 before all the figures. Check my back catalog and before we go review and gear up this figure, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Make a comment down below. So let's go ahead. I'm going to heat up this figure. So I got the figure all heated up. And uh, just be careful with the ankles. Um, I had an issue with the uh, Spec Ops Trooper where um, the ankle had a bubble in it. I'm not 100% sure whether these figures have the same problem. I haven't heard any uh, issues, but just be careful and heat up the uh, ankles just a tad. Get them moving. Brace it so that you don't uh, put too much stress on the, uh, on the ankle joint here. So let's go ahead and look at the style and design of this action figure. It's essentially the same figure I've reviewed in previous videos, like the Spec Ops Trooper and the green shirt. So this one is just done in green and desert colors. Uh, very cool uh, default head. Looks awesome, nice balaclava. And again, they, they have the same exact body as all those other figures. I'm not gonna go over any articulation, just the, do a little bit of a highlight here. There is no butterfly shoulder joints, unfortunately, but uh, you could still hold your uh, gun uh, cross arm. So there's a lot of range there. But I really like these colors. I think it brings these will fit in with the rest of the Desert Troopers, like Desert Rat and whatnot. So she's going to be hanging out with my Desert Troopers. So let's go ahead and gear her up. So the easiest way to get the belt on this figure is to heat it up and pop the joint from the waist like I've done many many times so I'm gonna have to reheat this figure up again because it cooled down so let's see if I can do this on camera and pop the torso the legs will come off sometimes but then just hold it from the waist and you should have no problems taking this figure apart so I'm gonna speed this up so try to be quick before this cools down, and you can pop the torso back together. And that's pretty much what all I need to do is put the waist. Um, you could also try putting it around her legs if you don't feel uh, comfortable uh, heating this up and popping it. Um, I use a I use a hair dryer so you could focus the heat just on the uh, torso here. That way you don't have to get it all wet and make it all messy and whatnot. So far this looks awesome, just like this, but we're going to keep moving forward. And this is the first time I've seen this helmet in the line, which is really cool, specifically for the female troopers. I think this is the correct way of putting it on. Looks good to me, hopefully it'll stay on when I pop it on, and it does. And I believe this is the correct way of doing it. If you, let me know if I got it backwards. It looks backwards to me. <laughs> we have her sidearm. Fits in good. And we have her machine gun. This machine gun looks really cool. And we have the figure stand. We can go ahead and just put her on the figure stand. And we have a blast effects. We'll put the big blast effect. There you go. Fits nice and snugly. And she fits perfectly on the stand. Really awesome. So there you have it, guys. She's all geared up. Very cool figure. Love the, uh, the green and desert colors. They complement each other very, very nicely. All right, let's do a comparison. Here is the regular Desert Trooper Republican Guard, and uh, they complement each other perfectly. Uh, their color coordination is very good. And here is Desert Rat. 
and they look freaking amazing together. Perfect color matching. So let's go ahead and do a comparison with Bloody Pandora, with the Bloody Pandora gear pack, and Gemini. So as you can see, they all have the same legs, feet, pants, and whatnot. And let's bring out the Infantry Commando. We might as well, they match very well together also. And we might as well bring out some G.I. Joe Classifieds. We got Dusty and Desert Commando Snake Eyes. Desert Commando Snake Eyes matches much better to the uh, Desert Troopers from Valiverse. And Dusty is kind of the anomaly, but they still kind of, they still kind of match. And that's it for the comparisons. And for some future reviews, I haven't opened up my Desert uh, Condor yet. And Desert Steel Brigade. Future reviews coming really soon. I can't wait to build out my army, my Desert Commando army. It's going to freaking be awesome. So stay tuned. So I want to thank everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button, make a comment down below, and it's time for action!